Hey, dolls and gents. Clearly, y'all did not care about my August beauty favorites video. All y'all wanted to see was a Rihanna Fenty Beauty product. First impression, full face kind of video. So I went to Sephora earlier today and every single item in this bag is from the Fenty Beauty collection. I first have to say that I did plan on picking up products from this collection, but not as quickly as y'all requested. Like, I was gonna wait like a week or two, you know, till things died down, but y'all weren't having that. Y'all were like, you need to go get that collection right now. I thought y'all would be fine with all the other beauty influencers that have been posting videos on this collection, but clearly y'all still want a video from your girl, so I appreciate all of your love. I purchased everything because of you guys, and I'm also going to show you products that I picked up for Deja. She is of a lighter complexion, so you can see what the products look like on deeper skin tones such as myself and on lighter skin tones such as Deja. So hopefully you can find some products that you want to try out. I think it's more important for you to see the products in action rather than me just talking about the products. So we're going to go ahead and jump into my first impression demo of it and then Deja's and then I'll be back. So we're going to go ahead and hop into the first impression video because that's what y'all have been waiting on. We're first going to start off with the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer and this is what the product looks like outside of the packaging. It has like a frosted glass with a pump so it does have like a luxury feel to it for sure. I'm really feeling like the color and the frosted glass. It's just very classic packaging. So I already did Deja's makeup, but you're going to see her makeup after I do mine. So I've already opened some of these products. So this does have like a lotion consistency to it. It's very kind of liquidy. But then it kind of dries down matte and it has a more smooth finish. So it almost goes on like really shiny, but then it dries down. It's very, very different. So next up we have the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And I got the shade 430 in this, but really I needed the shade 440. 430 can work, but it's a little orange on. This is 430. So it's not terrible, but it's very, very orange. And I heard that this foundation oxidizes, so I'm really scared to use like an orange tone foundation. So this is what the foundation in the bottle looks like. As you can see, it's the frosted glass and the foundation has a white top instead of the like baby pink, like the primer. So I did get a sample of shade 440. So I'm gonna go ahead and use shade 440 because it's more neutral, it's not as orange. Now, like I said, I heard this foundation does oxidize, so I'm a little scared because this foundation is like perfect for me, but if it oxidizes, it's not going to be perfect for me. So I'm going to work on the right side of my face first. So I'm going to use my Real Technique Expert Face Brush for this foundation and buff it into my skin. So right off the bat, it does dry down really quick, but the coverage is like lightweight. I'm going to try to build it up a little bit because y'all know I live for full coverage. I can still see my imperfections peeking through, so I'm trying to get as much coverage as I can with this foundation. Next, I'm going to go in with the matte stick, matte skin stick in the shade Suede, which is going to be a highlighter for me. And all of the matte sticks are magnetic, which is really cool. The pink packaging, it does have like a plastic packaging to it. So I'm going to pop this on underneath my eyes to highlight.
and I did get her makeup sponge so I'm gonna use that to blend this out so I do have the sponge damp right now I'm gonna use the flat side and start blending this out So this definitely is not like a concealer. It's not going to really cover any dark circles. So you'll need a concealer if you have dark circles. I'm going to see if I can get away with not using concealer. I'm also going to apply this above my lip, my chin, a little bit on my forehead, and my nose. So when I did Deja's makeup, I did not apply any powder to set it, but I am going to set mine with a little bit of powder. I'm going to go in with this yellow powder from Makeup Forever. This is the Ultra HD, I think it's Zero Two powder, just to set this. Next, I'm going to use the shade Espresso, which is going to be a contour color, and I'm going to apply this in my cheekbones. Oh, yes. This color is super rich. I'm trying to debate, do I want to put this on my nose or not? I don't think I'm going to put it on my nose because it's so rich in color. It might be too much, but I'm going to put it on my cheekbones. And I'm going to blend it out with the same brush that I used for the foundation. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Trippin' that came with the Matchstick Trio in the shade Medium. And I used this on Deja when I did her makeup, but I think it might work as a highlight on me too. So I'm gonna try it. And just blend it with my finger. Yeah, it's really pretty. So even if you have a deeper complexion, you can use this highlighting stick. So next, I am so excited about this product. This is the Trophy Wife Highlighter. OMG, like, my lighting is not doing this highlighter any justice. It looks so good. I'm going to use my Anastasia highlighting brush with this. And y'all know I love highlighters, so. I'm about to go in. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Do y'all see this? Yes. One swipe and you're instantly at just blowed up like. Oh my gosh. If you don't get any product out of this collection, you need this in your life. Do not skip out on this. Because I promise, you do not have a highlighter in your collection like this. Because I don't have a highlighter in my collection like this. It's like a greenish, I want to call this a money gold <laughs> kind of highlighter. Oh, it's so pretty. Yes, I'm living for that. I'm gonna apply this color to my eyelids as well because I think it would be really pretty. Yes. Ooh. Stunning. So if you are of a lighter complexion, I know this highlighter might be too much but you could definitely use it as an eyeshadow. So the last product that I picked up that I haven't used or opened yet is another highlighter. And this highlighter is the Ginger Binge Moscow Mule. I used to live for Moscow Mules, you guys. <laughs> Off topic, I know. But I'm gonna apply a little bit of Moscow Mule on my cheeks too. Oof. It's giving me like rose gold and pure gold vibes. Oh, 
I'm in love. So I lied. I said that was the last product. Uh, no, I actually have two other matchsticks and they are in Redick and Chili Mango. And I think I'm going to use Chili Mango. I'm going to use it on my cheeks. It is considered like a highlight stick, but I feel like I could use this as a blush because it is very orange. See? So I'm going to put this right here in between my highlights and my contour. And I'm going to blend it with my fingers. So we're first going to start off with the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. And it has like a liquid consistency to it, but it seems to be blending out pretty good. I may have used a little too much. How does it feel on the skin, Deja? Smoothing. <laughs> So this is the first time we're testing out products. Deja has a pretty normal skin type and my skin is oily, so you'll get to see it on different skin tones as well as different skin types. So we'll let you know exactly how this holds up. I really quickly did her eyes off camera, so don't judge her eye makeup and eyebrows. I wanted to get this video up for you guys so quick. So it blended in really nice and it kind of has like a matte consistency to it. I'm right off the bat not seeing any difference in her pores, but I definitely do feel a difference. Her skin feels a lot more smooth. I'm next going in with the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And this one is in the shade 300. We swatched all the shades in the store to find her correct shade and 300 was the closest. So this is what the shade looks like in the frosted glass. So right off the bat, it does have a pretty runny consistency to it. Deja said it looks like a heart, it does. <laughs> so I heard that this foundation does dry pretty quickly, so I'm gonna work in sections. I'm gonna start on her cheeks and I'm gonna go in with a brush and I'm using a stippling brush. This one is from Makeup Addiction. I did get her makeup sponge, but I didn't get any of the brushes. And it's blending really good. What do you think about the color? I love you. <laughs> she loves the color. We tried on so many different swatches on her earlier today in Sephora. <laughs> I would say it's a little darker than her skin, but on camera it looks like perfect. But in real life, it does look a little bit darker than her skin tone. But Deja has really good skin, so she doesn't need that much foundation, but it's already dried down matte. That's crazy, but it looks really good on the skin. You can see the difference between this side and this side. Looks really good. Does it feel lightweight on the skin or does it feel like you're wearing foundation? It still feels like I'm wearing foundation. I'm See, so Deja weird. doesn't wear makeup like that, so it feels like she's wearing foundation. I haven't tried these products yet, so I'm not sure how I'll feel about them. So I'm gonna take it down her neck just a little bit. She hates it when I do this, so if you hear her laugh, she finds this to be quite ticklish. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's not as bad as today. <laughs> You're getting used to it. She's getting used to it. The first time I did this, she literally put her chin down to her neck. Like, I'm like, what is going on? So next up, we have the Match Dick Trio. And she got the shade medium in this. It comes with bamboo, mocha, and what's that last shade? I can't even see. What is it? That last shade is Trippin. And as y'all already know by now, these are magnetic, so you can like detach them and attach them, which is really, really cool. And here are all three of the shades. So we're going in with the shade Bamboo first. So I'm going to apply Bamboo underneath her eyes. 
and I'm not really sure how fast these dry down so I'm gonna work pretty quick with this. I'm going to use a regular flat foundation brush and it's blending out pretty good. Does it feel heavy? Nope, not really. Yeah, she's saying that it doesn't feel heavy, which is a good thing. So it's blending so good, you guys. Like, it's crazy how good it's blending. I'm gonna add a little bit right under here. Look up for me. So this is a really good highlight color if you have like a medium skin tone. I really like this color because it's not too like red, pink, or orange. It's like very neutral, but it does add a nice highlight. Next, we're using the Match Stick in Mocha, and this is a contour shade for Deja. And I'm going to apply this right in her cheeks. And again, I'm gonna work in sections just because I don't want any of this to dry down. And I'm going to just use a brush to blend it, like an angled blush brush. I would say that Mocha has a very cool tone to it though, so I would go over this with a bronzer. Like the shade isn't bad, but to me it's very gray on her, so if you really want that sculpted look, then this color would look amazing, but if not, this is going to be like a little bit too gray. So I'm just gonna use powder bronzer for her forehead and her nose because I'm really not that excited about this color for her, but I feel like we could find another like color for her to be like more warm tone or more neutral. Next up we have the highlighter. This one is in the shade Trippin. And we're going to apply this to the upper portion of her cheekbone. To add just a little base for the glow. This has like a peachy gold highlight to it. I don't know if y'all are seeing it. It's a very subtle highlight on her skin tone, but it's going to serve as a nice base for Trophy Wife because. I will be using Trophy Wife on her. So the last product that I'll be using on Deja from this collection is the Trophy Wife Highlighter, the one that everyone has been raving about. So excited to pop this on her. It has like a greenish hue to it. And since Deja has a lighter complexion, I'm gonna go in with the light hand first because I've heard this highlighter is just, oof, oh my gosh. Whoa, that's just like the slightest bit, you guys. What in the world? Do you guys see this? And you're not even seeing like the full effect. Like it looks way, way more pigmented in person. This is crazy. Like you're not seeing the full color. This is something that you need from this collection. If you don't get anything else, get this highlighter, like ASAP. So pretty. So I hope that y'all enjoyed this first impressions Fenty Beauty collection video. If you enjoyed me also doing makeup, on a different skin tone, definitely let me know in the comments down below and thumbs up this video and I will do that more often when super exciting products launch. Overall, I think that Rihanna did a wonderful job on her collection. I feel like she was very inclusive. She came out with 40 different foundation shades, okay? I really was in there swatching just to see which foundation shade would work for me and there were several that I could choose from, which is crazy. So if you do have a deeper complexion, she's got you covered. If you have a lighter complexion, she's got you covered. If you have a medium complexion, she's got you covered. The highlighters are on point. I definitely recommend you check out the highlighters. 
and the foundation. I feel like you could probably bypass on the primer. I think that I have better primers in my collection, but again, the primer isn't bad. It's just not something that I would generally use. Also, the makeup sponge was okay, but honestly, I would recommend that you pick up the foundations and the highlighters and the matchsticks are really nice. The contour, the highlight shades, and even the highlight shades are amazing. I love the fact that these are magnetized. That was such an excellent idea. Like they kind of just find their way together. It's just so easy to use and I highly recommend the matchsticks. The highlighter that you most definitely need in your life is the Trophy Wife highlighter. Do not sleep on this highlighter. You need it in your life. Like it's amazing. Even if this doesn't work for you as like an all over face highlighter, this highlighter is bomb for an eyeshadow. I'm wearing it as an eyeshadow right now and I freaking love it. So yeah, I know this video was kind of long, but I definitely wanted to show you me applying the products on myself and also Deja. If you're interested in following Deja, I will have her Instagram link down below for you guys. So be sure to go check her out and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye. By the way, if you're interested in checking out my August beauty favorite, a lot of you weren't interested the other day because all y'all cared about was Fenty Beauty, but go ahead, click and check it out right now.